Yo, what's up guys? My name is Destiny and welcome back to the last video in the API series where we're going to go ahead and start writing a very simple function that will help us search users in Django, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I will open up my code editor and I'm, I'm going to hop over to the views py and we need to define a final one called search user. It should inherit from generics dots list api view and the serializer class that we want to you know that we want to interact with should be the profile serializer and i think we need these two things also all right paste it down there and we are done so we also need to create a list and actually we are not done we have to do some more things all right so create a list and um now we're pretty much overriding the list method because when we search for a user, we're going to get multiple lists, all right? It's just the same thing as returning uh, a query set. But the difference is that the difference is that when you override the query set, you will not be able to return a response, okay? Because it's a query set. But when you override the list, you can still get the query set and still return a response, okay? So I kind of like using it for things like this. So I'm going to say return self request and um, let's also return args and quags. Let's break off from our server so we don't keep seeing that error thing. And that's pretty much what we want to do for now. Let's go ahead and grab the username. So we're going to say username should be equal to self.quags and username. So does this ring any bell? That means we're going to have a URL with an appended username to it to actually search for a user. Okay. Now let's also get the logged in user. Because we don't want to, if we search for a user, we don't want to see the logged in user, right? We just want to see only the users. The logged in user is the user that's searching for a user and we don't want to see them in the list. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can still show it up if you want, but this is just my own way of doing it, all right? So I'm going to say profile.objects.filter and we want to write just a very simple filter. The first one, we're going to be using the queue object and I will just say user underscore underscore user name underscore underscore i contains should be equal to whatever username that is passed into the url or or then for this one we also need to do almost the same thing but i want to use the first name instead you, you could use the full name you could use the, the user email to search it all depends on what you want to use i'm going to say all full underscore name underscore underscore i contains equal to username that's the the other one and finally is it finally i think we still have just one more that i want to do so i'm gonna also search by the user email email contains user name okay i think that's pretty much it and instead of saying or i just want to say and and i'm gonna put a tilde over here okay tilde just like this and i'm gonna use a queue and i will say user should be equal to the logged in user so let me explain everything that went on here okay now we pretty much defined a url called username over here we defined another another value called logged in user which gets self the request dot user which is the logged in user right then we now said hey django go ahead and filter all the profiles based on whatever username that's passed in here so the profile field the profile model hopefully you guys already know that it has a field called user now using the lookup method we could pretty much do underscore underscore to get into the user model and in the user model there is a field called username right okay that's it and we now said if the username contains any of the keyword that is passed in this username variable over here go ahead and get it we did the same thing for the full name the profile model has a full name so we don't need to do any underscore underscore lookup for any field again we just pretty much did underscore underscore lookup for i contains which check if the username contains any field or any letter that's related to any username or any full name in the database and we also did the same thing for email so email should still be this the same thing as user underscore underscore all right email and finally this one over here will go ahead and exclude whatever user that's logged in as simple as that we are done 
Now let's go ahead and write one simple conditional statement. I'm going to say if not users dot exist. So what does this mean? This actually means that um, users does not exist. Okay. So if not users dot exist, and I'm going to go ahead and return a response. And what do we want to see in the response? Now this one is up to you. You could you could put in whatever you want in there, but I'm just going to go ahead and define the key the key is going to be detail and uh, the actual error message that i want to pass in is no users found okay so we pretty much check if users if there is no user in this query set over here then we we'll return an error that says no users found okay we're going to be managing this using react and finally we can return a status this one should be let's just say status status dot http Let's use HTTP 400 not found. Okay. HTTP 400. Is it? For, no, no. It should be 404 not found. Yeah. HTTP 404 not found. And we are done. Let's just go ahead and return uh, serializer. Serial, serializer should be equal to self dot get underscore serializer. And what should be get serializer? It should be users. And also we should say many should be equal to true. Then I'll explain what's going on over here. And finally, finally, we need to go ahead and return response. Response should be what? The serializer, finally, of data, and we are done. So what does this mean? Over here, I explained this. I also explained this. We check if the if users does not exist in the square reset over here, return this error. But if the user exists, I want you guys to know that there is an invisible else over here. You can either put an else there, or if you don't want to put an else, just make sure to indent this. And if this does not work out, it will fall onto this. So if a user exists, we pretty much get get a serializer. So this guest serializer is gonna grab this profile serializer over here, and we pretty much serialized this one over here, pass it to the guest serializer, and finally we return the data. So we return whatever user that we get from the query sets. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. No strings attached. Let's go ahead and register this in the URLs. You could just you could duplicate that if you want. It's up to you how you want to do that. And for this one, I'm just gonna put in a search. And also over here, I'm just gonna say user name. Okay. And finally, I'm gonna say search user. That's it. We are done. Let's go ahead and run Python manage py run server. I'm going to try doing this in real time to see how it works. So API search slash, let's say, let's just put in some gibberish. And as you can, okay, it says authentication credentials were provided. So that means let's go ahead and comment this out so we can be able to test in real time and see what we've got. Okay, so I'm going to test before that. Just hold on, guys. I want to disconnect something. Okay, now let's go ahead and refresh one more time. Says field ID expected the number will go anonymous. A number. Um, did we actually miss out on something? So, okay, let's see. Self dot. Okay, self dot quags. Username. You know what? Let's just refresh this again. Okay, I think we're running into one issue here. Profile the object dot filter. What's the error? It says field ID expected a number. So where did we use an ID here? We did not use an ID anywhere here. So I think there might be a misunderstanding. All right. Um, okay, let's just go through this code again from beginning and see everything that we've done. So define list, we passed in, in the list, we passed in self requests, um, self request acts. Then we said username should be equal to self the, the keyword arguments and we passed in username. You know what, let me hop over to the URLs and make sure that everything is looking good here. Let's break off from the server, run it again. And let's refresh this. 
So if I try, if I pass in a number here, what's going to happen? Got anonymous user. Okay. This this anonymous user over here is trying to say that we are not actually logged in. But I don't, I don't think we need to be logged in to be able to access this because I commented this out already. Right? So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and verify what's actually wrong here. Okay, so one thing that I noticed that's causing this issue might actually be this one that we wrote over here. Um might actually be this. Let's get rid of this one. We're gonna we're gonna handle that with React. Okay, so let's just handle this tree with Django. Now let's refresh this. There you go. As you can see, it's working. No users found. Now let me go ahead and type in destiny a user that actually exists, and as you can see, it's actually fetched a user. See, okay. There you go. So I think that's pretty much it. Everything is working perfectly well as expected. I'm gonna try searching for another user. Let's say Sam, and as you can see, it's fetched Sam. That's the user number two. Okay, so as images two isn't working, don't worry, we're gonna fix that up later. So I think we are pretty much done with the tutorial, and in the next one, we're gonna go ahead and start working with React, and then we're gonna go ahead and start working with everything that we've missed out and we need to work on, and actually the visual aspects of this really fun project. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and a, drop a like. Consider dropping a comment and also liking the video as it really mean the world to me. Check out the links in the description below. One of them might actually help you become a pro Django developer. And until the next video, my love, peace out.